static timing analysis in the timing arc. Timing arc is defined as the path from input pin to the output pin of a cell that is, that is called as timing arc. Mean the path from input pin. This is the input pin. This is the output. This this is the one one timing arc. This is the another one timing arc. This is the another three timing arc. This is called in the cell delay is having timing arc. That is the path from input pin to the output inside the cell is having one path. So that is a timing arc from input pin to the output pin. One timing arc. So that is having sequential timing arc. I will explain this. One. Types of timing arcs. There are. Three types: positive unitness arc and negative unitness arc. Non-unitness arc. Non-unit arc. Positive unit arc. What is that one? It is defined as the if we given the input rising from zero to one. If we if given zero to one, we will get the output same. There is no any change in the output waveform. We will get same output. If we are given rising, we will get the rising only. Same we will get. That I will explain how it is possible. So consider B is constant, B is zero. A will be variable. First, you give A is zero. So zero zero, we having zero. Then B A is A remove and A changes to one. One zero, one zero is having zero. There is no change, no change. Same. Again, U is B is one. Make as B is constant one. B is one. A is due to zero. So zero one. What is here zero? And change B to A to one. So a to one, one one is one. So here is change rising at if we give one zero to one means it will take the same same rising at only it will get. If we give one the input is zero to one we will get the same rising at only. So it is a positive unitness. It is AND gate and it is OR gate. There are two examples for the. Positiveness and an OR gate. Negative unitness. Negative unitness means opposite of the positive unitness. If it is defined as if we give on the input rising from zero to one, we get the falling waveform from one to zero. Means if we are given zero to one input signal, we will get the output signal is one to zero. There is change in the output waveform. See here, same as it is. Process B is make constant as zero. A is also zero starting variable zero. We will get the one. Right? Change this one. A A input to one. One zero. One. B is constant still. After that, change to B is one. And a becomes zero. Make a zero. Zero one is having one. And again change to the one. A is change to one. So one one becomes zero. So one zero. So if we given like this zero one, we'll get this as one zero. So it is negative unitness, opposite of the positive unitness. Then. Uh, nor gate is this is a nor gate nor gate and the nand gates are the example for the negative unitness non unitness non unitness means if we given the input from zero to one we will get same we will get both like sorry we will get both input rise if we given the input is rising zero to one we will get both rising at so we will get in falling as we will get zero to one. We will get one to zero. Both we will get here. No unitness means. So here is B is zero. A is also zero. Zero zero output is zero. When change A to one. Change A to one. So one zero. One zero is having zero one. 
remove b changes to 1 and a changes to 0 so 0 1 is having 1 then change a to 1 so 1 1 is having 0 so here 0 is okay so if he is having 0 to 1 and again it is having 1 to 0 so both you will get then on unitness so it is about unitness arc positive unitness negative unitness and negative unitness unit it is timing the cell arc cell arc is defined as the input pin from input pin to the output pin of a cell that is, is a cell arc so this one only cell arc means. this is one cell right? input pin to the output pin combination cell arc this one the time from input pin to the output pin the timing arc this one sequential cell arc means the path from it may be from d to clock to d or clock to q here the combination cell arc are between the input pin to the output pin of a cell, the input pin to the output pin, and this is a combination cell arc from year to year. Sequential cell arc is between the clock pin to either input pin or output pin. So it is a sequential cell arc, this one. Either year to year, either year to year. So it is a timing arc for a sequential cell, flip flop. Then uh, cell arc or open net arc. Net arc is defined as the source pin of the output pin of one cell to sync pin of the input pin of other cell. See here, it is the cell, cell arc is from year to year. Year to year is a cell arc. So net arc means output pin of the source pin of the output pin of the cell one to the input pin sync pin of the this one is a net arc. From year to year is net arc. Otherwise, output pin of the one cell is the input pin of the other cell. So it is called cell arc. Net arc, sorry. Net arc is from the end. Output pin of the one cell is the input pin of the other cell. That is called net arc. Net arc is defined as the source pin of the output pin of one cell and the sync pin is the input pin of other cell. That is the net arc. So clock definitions in STI, what are the IVC? Synchronous clock. Synchronous clock means those clocks are two clocks are having same clock period. See synchronous say say having same clock period and having only one, one clock source between those. So it's a synchronous clock. So timing paths are calculated by the synchronous clock. So it is synchronous clock, then it is having two clocks. Clock so port is connected, same clock port. This is connected to the air. This, this clock is also connected to here. So it is a synchronous clock. The timing paths are calculated by the synchronous clock. We can calculate easily for the timing for this one, synchronous clocks. Same clock is uh, triggered. Uh, so we'll calculate. One flop will launch the data. One flip flop will capture. Here it will capture the data, launch the data. It is, this is launch the data, it will capture the data. The flop which is launching the data that is called as launch flip flop and the which is capturing and the flip flop which is capturing the data that is called as capture flip flop. So it is a launch flip flop and it is a capture flip flop. The flip flop which is launching the data means sending the data is a launch flip flop and which is capturing the data means receiving the data that is called capture flip flop. Asynchronous. Asynchronous. Two clocks are asynchronous with respect to each other. Means the clock is not, same clock period is not having and same clock source is also not connected to these two flops. It is also connected to one clock source. It is also having one clock. So it is having C1 and it is having C2. Different clocks are having, connect, clock source are having. So in this one, we can ca calculate the Timing between the two synchronous asynchronous clock uh, cells also, but asynchronous clock, different clocks are connected to the flop. It is take 
more timing process. So it is a dynamic timing analysis. Virtual clock. So, uh, sorry, we can also calculate the timing between the synchronous clock, but it will take. Okay, we. Virtual clock. Virtual clock is a clock that exists but not associated with any pin or port of a design. That is called virtual clock. Virtual clock means that is an ideal clock that is not connected, that is not having in our design. Just we are. Yeah, imaginary ideal clock we are creating because for calculate the into outer timing path, virtual clock can be exist when the input is directly connected to the output of the design into into out because there is no any clock registers is present in that path is the input to output path direct path input or be direct path we can't able to mention the input and output delay for this path we are giving the virtual clocks here it is here to here is it's connected to here it is we can give the input delay set input delay we can give here to here is also we can use set output delay there is not desiring but here to here is having there is no any register direct path is only one com combo is there so here for timing calculation is for applying the delay it is difficult so for that one, we are creating one virtual ideal clock that is not in the design, just we are ideal clock creating and giving the input delay and output delay for these input and output words for the into out parts. It is all about this video. Thank you everyone.